Hi, welcome to Mass Minutes with Melissa. We are in the sixth week of Ordinary Time. And this weekend we continue hearing from Mark about Jesus's beginning of his ministry. This week we are going to hear about a leper. That is not a word that we hear very often. A leper is a person who has sores and skin um, disfigurements. While we still have that kind of disease today, it's treatable and not as common. But in Jesus's time, a leper was outcast. A leper was not someone who could roam freely around the com community because they had these sores and um, skin diseases and disformities. So I want you to kind of have that in your mind while we read from Mark chapter 1, verses 40 to 45. A leper came to him and kneeling down, begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hands and touched him and said to him, I do will it, be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then, warning him sternly, Jesus dismissed him at once. Then Jesus said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go and show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleaning, cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places and people kept coming to him from everywhere. There is so much going on in this gospel reading. So one of the things with people having leprosy or being a leper in Jesus's time meant that the people thought that that person had done something very wrong and was being punished because of the sores and things on their faces and their bodies. This made them unclean and people could not, did not want to be around them. They had to live in isolation by themselves. And if they came out to the world and to the community, they had to make a lot of noise so people knew that they were coming and could stay away from them. Because if a person touched another person with leprosy, then that person was also made unclean. Think how horrible that would be. Can you imagine not being able to go out and about? But here we find this man, this leper, with great conviction to think that Jesus really could heal him. So he approached Jesus and said, if it's your will, cleanse me, make me clean. Jesus had a decision to make then. Would he cleanse him? Would he heal him? And if he did, would he do it by touching? Because if he touched him, the world would think that now Jesus was unclean. But we see that Jesus showed the man compassion. He reached out his hand and he touched him and said, I will you to be clean. And he was immediately. What a miracle. What a miracle. But now he said, don't tell anybody. This needs to be between us. Go to the priest and do the things that you need to do to be made officially unclean, which was part of the protocol back then, and just go on and don't tell anybody. But of course, the leper couldn't not tell anybody. He had a huge miracle that just happened to him, and he went out and was telling everybody. And now Jesus's ministry was completely public, and people came from all over to be healed and to be seen by this miracle worker named Jesus. Jesus's life is now completely different than what it had been before. 
because now the world is seeing him as someone who can perform miracles and they're searching for him. So think about how Jesus's life changed from making that decision. We all make decisions every single day, lots of them. Most of them aren't going to change our life, but they might in a small way. So as you're making decisions, I want you to think about how it will impact your life going forward. I also want you to think about how compassionate Jesus was. How can you show compassion to others like Jesus did? This leper was a person that no one wanted to be around. Yet Jesus spoke with him, touched him, and healed him. Are there people in your neighborhood who are isolated in their house because of COVID? Are there people around you that are sick with an illness that you could reach out to help them? Maybe shovel their driveway or bring them food or visit them? So this week, I challenge you, this week of Valentine's Day, where we're showing love to others, to also show compassion to those that others may not be as compassionate about. Think about how you can live like Jesus.